welcome to Inside the Middle East. I'm Hala Garani, and as you can probably tell, I am completely drenched. It's raining, it's windy, it's cold, and by looking at me, you probably wouldn't guess that I'm in a country better known for its searing heat and desert landscapes. I'm in Oman, right under Saudi Arabia and the Arabian Peninsula, and we're in the middle of summer. Now what's happening here is that monsoon rains are hitting this part of the coast, creating lush greenery all around the mountainside. It looks more like the Scottish Highlands really than the Middle East. Right near here is a town called Salala, and it attracts many tourists because the heat isn't as oppressive as in other parts of the region. Come with us on this tour of a desert oasis. lush greenery as far as the eye can see. Rain pouring on mountaintops. Moss, trees, plants. In short, everything you would not expect to see in the Arabian desert. This is Salala in southern Oman a country south of Saudi Arabia, where summer temperatures routinely break 50 degrees Celsius. But here, in the middle of the hottest season of the year, it's a tolerable 28 to 30 degrees. That's because strong southwest winds bring monsoon rains to this part of the Arabian Peninsula coast. The monsoon means rain. And rain means intense fog enveloping the tips of mountains. Filming the opening shot for this month's show, I certainly got a taste of Salala's rainy climate. <laughs> this is insane. This is one thing you never have to put up with in the Middle East. In London, yes. Then, driving down the mountain to the coast, and there, at the foot of rocky cliffs, warm water geysers sprouting naturally from the sea below. And because nature is so unpredictable, approach these blowholes at your own risk. There is also history here, and not just any old history in southern Oman. The land is fertile ground for the frankincense tree. It is the stuff of legends, and the familiar Bible line, gold, frankincense, and myrrh, thousands of years ago, frankincense was worth its weight in gold. There's different types of frankincense. Uh -huh. The quality of frankincense is affected by the climate. Uh -huh. Ghanem Al Shanfari is in charge of a frankincense tree park. He tells me the tree should be considered a national treasure. Frankincense is very precious from the 3,000 years ago up to, up to now. Yeah. And this is why the, the idea came to, to protect this kind of trees, these frankincense trees, and to develop them also, because they are part of our history, of our culture, not only us as Muslims and Arabs, it's also for the Christians and for the Judaism also. It is a holy land. Southern Oman attracts tourists from other parts of the Gulf where the heat is oppressive. Perhaps not quite ready for mass tourism, it is still an eco-tourist's dream. Here in the no-frills alleyways of Salala's market, women, veiled tribal style, sell the product of the precious frankincense tree. The sap from the tree is hardened into crystals for candles, perfume, even tea, an important source of income for families in this part of the Arabian Peninsula. In Salala's town center, we take in a local show with singing and dancing. A 21st century version of a tribal dance for sure. Instead of daggers, the dancers here use mobile phones to mark the beat. And across southern Oman, there are dances and chants in celebration of tribal life. Echoes of the past, a slice of green in the desert. Well, from rainy, misty southern Oman, we go up north to Saudi Arabia, 
where our Wolf Dinnick introduces us to a Saudi women's basketball team. <laughs> 